Hello YouTubers. Um, well, I was supposed to have a, um, another television crew coming this week to do something, but they cancelled. And, um, I mean, normally I wouldn't mind that at all, but this particular thing was going to go out at the uh, end of, um, end of a news item, uh, news, the, 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 the news that was, you know, um, and it was to do with the cooking thing that uh, is currently sort of uh, receiving all the attention. Uh, but I was disappointed that they cancelled this time because since it was going to be live, I thought um, I might do something a bit, um, <laughs> a bit more interesting and uh, sort of barge into the, uh, the, the presenter's uh, picture and... Um, end the news in my own way. Anyway, it didn't happen, but um, why I was also disappointed was to do that, they they bring up, uh, you've seen them, these vans with big satellite dishes on and things, and uh, it's very interesting to see the insides of the van because it's full of the most amazing technology, and I was going to do a video about that. So now I don't know what to do, but I did find in my archives uh, an interview with one of the television people who was with me, um, which of course never gets uh, never gets shown. So if I put that up, you might get an insight into uh, into uh, what goes on. Um, I'm afraid the whole video is going to last something like ten minutes. So <laughs> be warned. Um, anyway, uh, I put that up and I got some other things I'm going to talk to you about um, next week so until then as always goodbye Peter I'm from ITV Central News um, you're a global star as far as YouTube is concerned <laughs> and you got to meet the Queen what was she like? the Queen oh she's a very beautiful lady I was so impressed she's so nice uh, she didn't appear to have any makeup on. She was very natural and she spoke to us in a very friendly way and it was a great privilege and an honour to, to be there. She was obviously there to see how Google operates and how YouTube operate. Yes, oh absolutely, yes. And of course there were all the uh, important CEOs and people from uh, flown over from America, uh, from... Um, Google and YouTube and she met up with uh, a group of children because you may not be aware but um, the Google logo is designed uh, by children from a school and they do wonderful designs so she, was, she met them um, she met some other people and then she came up to the end of the uh, end of the room where all of us uh, YouTube people were what, what did she think about about your sir, about about what you do on the internet, and and she herself obviously writes emails as well. Yes, she does. Yes, I think she's kept up with modern technology very well, and uh, and I believe she even does her Christmas. Um, going to say Christmas lecture. What is it? Uh, <laughs> delivers her Christmas speech uh, through a video link, doesn't she? So, yeah, she's very well up with modern technology, and of course. The royal family have their own channel on YouTube. Now, the Duke of Edinburgh was there, obviously, as well. He was. Um, you had a bit more of a chat with him. What did he have to say? <laughs> well, he, his questions were rather searching, really, because he said, why do you do this? And I really couldn't come up with, a, up with an answer, but um, I'm sure I said something. And uh, What did you want to say? <laughs> well, I, I suppose I might have wanted to say that uh, I guess we're all just little show-offs or something and we like to uh, <laughs> like to see ourselves. I hope that isn't true because I hope some of the things that we do on YouTube are, um, help other people in a way and um, but it's a very enjoyable thing to do. It certainly keeps me very busy anyway. It keeps you very busy. You've been doing it uh, for, for a number of years now. Um, you've got so many videos there on, on YouTube. Mm. Why did you start all of this? I mean, it's a question we've been asked again and again and again. Well, why did you do it? Yes, yes, I have, of course. But um, 
almost I could say just because it was there it was really a learning process of how to do it rather than what to do and I'd been interested in graphic design and uh, things and uh, I was just looking into how to make videos which I knew nothing about at all so like everybody else I, I googled video and, and found out how to do it and having done it of course you feel you know, you're clever or proud or whatever and uh, and then found a way to put it up onto YouTube. Now usually, if you don't mind me saying, Peter, YouTube is something you might associate with someone a lot younger. Oh, absolutely. Yes, and of course, I didn't know anything about YouTube, but what it was at that time. I knew it was a social networking site, and like all of those sites, it would naturally be populated by the younger element. And uh, uh, so I thought that when I put this up that it would either be laughed off the screen or uh, or not seen at all but um, the opposite happened and um, the media got hold of the fact that this old man had invaded if you like the world of the young and of course then I got all the media attention and of course in the process so did um, so did you two. Can you believe still the, the amount of attention that you've got and how popular you've become? <laughs> no, no, uh, it, it just feels like another person really but um, I think there is a there is a good element to this in that very early on one newspaper dubbed me as the internet granddad which I think is a lovely title and I think that's the role I take there on YouTube and uh, I think that's made the YouTube site somewhat unique in that um, it's no longer a site just for the young, although I would suspect probably 80%, but um, there are many, many more older people now who have had the courage to do what I have done, and so we've got this intergenerational sort of balance, and I see that as a good thing because... Um, whilst I naturally look at all the young people's videos I learn about their lives, their attitude, their opinions and hopefully if I behave myself properly they will look at me as an older person and maybe not be so frightened of older people and uh, learn about our lives. You mentioned the internet granddad. Yeah. Some of your recent um, videos have been about your grandson. Um, yes indeed they have yes. Well, um, because you've, you've been talking a lot about your life, haven't you? Throughout have, your diaries. Yes. Yeah. So, in a sense, you've evolved, have you? Or have you decided? I, I never decide anything. It just happens. But it, uh, in the early days, I, I did a series called Telling It All, where I was, in a way, comparing the life uh, as a child of people of my age as compared to life today and people found that interesting and of course I was one of those people who um, was alive during the war so I could tell some stories about bombings and aeroplanes and things and the young people seemed to quite like that. And also your love for music, that um, features a lot. Yes it does, yes. Unfortunately of course it's a bit difficult to use music on one's videos because of copyright rules but uh, uh, yes I have a love of music, yes indeed. Blues. Blues in particular, yes. Funny thing, perhaps you wouldn't think a young person would uh, like the blues, but I was hooked on them from a very early age. Because I suppose we, the alternatives were so boring. We had Glenn Miller and big bands and things like that, and that was dance music, and that was terribly boring. I suppose it's no different to young people today who go into their type of music, is it? Because they found the stuff that we might listen to... Uh, boring as well so you you move on but I got hooked very early. If that wasn't enough and YouTube wasn't enough you've also got the Zimmers as well. <laughs> yes yes uh, the YouTube has enabled me to uh, get involved in many other things and one of the wonderful things was being invited to be um, well in the formation of this uh, Zimmers band. Mm. And uh, that features a lot, a lot as well for you. It's, it's quite important to you, isn't it? Because that links into a lot of the other work that you do. Well, it does. It is important because although we do have a lot of fun, it's terribly hard work, but we do have a lot of fun, but we don't have to lose sight of the reason why the Zimmers Band was formed in the first place, which was, of course, to uh, raise awareness to um, the life and 
sometimes the plight of older people and that has always been the overriding feature of the Simmons. Because I've noticed on your website you've got the, the silver surface section. Um, it's quite important the work that you do for age concern and, and that and that area in particular. I mean, what, I what, like, what are you trying to do? By, are you trying to introduce a, a whole new group to another area they can get, they can get help on? Or? Well, uh, yes, because I have got so much benefit from being on the internet and, and involved with computers and they're, they're here to stay and they are the modern form of communication I think a lot of people are missing out and old people are frightened about the whole thing and they do need help and encouragement and if only um, we could get more of the elderly people I think their lives would be enriched the same as mine has been enriched by it. Peter you started obviously with your initial the first try and then your diary mm -hmm. on YouTube and then you moved on to talking about your family and your experiences and now meeting the Queen. What next? What, what next for uh, Peter Oakley? <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, it's often quite a surprise when I open up emails to find what might be happening. There's always something. Uh, I mean, just off the top of my head, somebody here says, I work out of the London news office of ARD, a German TV network, bum, 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 and can I phone you and can I... So I, I, you never know what's going to happen from day to day. So will we be seeing you moving from the internet onto the, onto the, onto the, onto the television screens? No, I don't think so. No, I, I doubt that I would be able to cope with a television presentation. But one wonderful thing did happen. Um, there's a DVD here from Saatchi and Saatchi who have employed me to do um, the advertising for Telecom New Zealand. So, who knows? What, what will you be selling? Oh, well, it's already done. It, it will be selling their broadband service, service that they offer to their telecom customers. Okay, Peter, thank you very much for talking to me. Well, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for asking me to take part. Thank you. So, um, when I finish my videos, we all say, so hope to see you again very soon, and goodbye.